I got you, homie. Alright, so when you start scripting and you have absolutely no experience, then it can be very hard to find interesting things to mess around with or learn since your lack of experience can really get in your way. So it's precisely for this reason that I'm making this video. If you're new to scripting, here's a list of things that you can very easily make and that will also put your starter scripter knowledge to the test. Also, we'll be going in order of difficulty from less difficult to more difficult. Just wanted to put that in there. Alright, let's start the video. Okay, so number one are portals. Portals are cool, right? Well, guess what? If you're a starter scripter, you can actually make portals pretty easily. All you'll need to know is how to access and change properties, how to identify the humanoid report of the character, how to find portals in workspace, and also identify when the portal has been touched, which are not that many things. What I like to personally do is have two portals with almost the same name. The only difference is that one will be called A in the end and the other will be called B in the end. All you gotta do is code it so that when the portal gets touched, it checks if it's a humanoid, then check for the humanoid root part and then change the position property of the humanoid root part to the position of the portal you wanted to teleport. If you're scripting portal A, then make the position equal to portal B and just like that, you've made a portal. Alright, so number two is a little bit more long and it's also another means of transportation. However, this one will be a little bit more fancy and complex. Number two is an elevator. It's incredibly easy to script an elevator as well. All you have to do in order for this to work is a click detector and twin service, which I'll briefly explain right now in case you don't know how to use it. Okay, you put the click detector inside of the part and let's say you want the part to go up here, right? Add a script inside the part, get the part first, of course, get the click detector next and then twin service this is very important if you don't do this then it won't work do click detector dot mouse click to detect if the part has been touched and connect that to a function and there you will create a new twin the way twins work is that you provide the part that you're going to be working with information how you should achieve the goal and last but not least the goal itself so those three things are what we will be defining now well the last two because the parts already defined okay so first let's define the goal itself we want the part to move to a certain in position right go back to the workspace find the position you want through moving the part go to properties get the position property copy that return the part to its original position and go back to the script now let's create a table called goals that will contain all the goals in this case it will only be one goal do it like i'm doing it and under it write down goal dot position this will add an element to the table called position and make that equal to the position we got from the part a while back so you just have to paste it and just like that we just defined our goal the last thing we're gonna do is define how we want to achieve our goal for these we use twin info.new set a variable equal to twin info.new there are six parameters we can mess around with here but for the video we'll just need the first two the first one is time meaning how much time it will take to reach the goal meaning the position we want it to move right i want it to reach it in five seconds meaning the position we want it to move to right i want it to reach it in five seconds so just type down five the second one is how it will move to the position we want. I'll put on screen a video of different styles of movement available. For this purpose, I'll just use sign because I think it fits the elevator movement style, right? Now to select any of the styles, here's what you want to do. Enum.AsyncStyle.Sign Why did they make it like this? I don't know. You're just going to have to memorize it, I guess. And that wraps up how we want the part to reach the goal. The last thing we're going to do is play the tween. For this, we use tween service colon create. So put that inside a variable called tween inside the parenthesis now you will put part as the first argument info as the second one and goal as the third one and last but not least play the tween if you don't play it then the part will move also make sure you don't miss any of the arguments now we test it click the part and it works perfectly nice now we can go up here how do we get down well that's another story for another video anyways i don't want to overwhelm any of you starter scripters too much so i'll end the video right here let me know if you want more of these quick easy little project examples i'm planning to make this into a little series maybe anyways keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace Thank you.